Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I want to believe you're doing good, I want to believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of GBPUSD and what to expect from the market this week. In case you just come across our videos, in case you just come across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, let's say a bit about our last analysis of GBPUSD. When we did that analysis, the market was here, and we did say that we expect the market to sell. And of course, you can remember in the previous week, the market had made a bearish divergence here, so it started selling, and it got here. So we did say that we expect the market to sell and when the market opened, uh, Monday ended as a small bullish candle. Tuesday was a bearish engulfing bar. Then Wednesday, the market started buying. It was until Friday that we had the bearish rejection and the market ended as a more like a shooting star. So the market did not go exactly as we anticipated. And it was until Friday that the bearish move we anticipated came into play. So consider this a retracement. So if you were able to get in on the bullish move on, say congratulations to you. Now let's start the analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, we can see that GBPUSD uh, started buying around this region. And from here, it started making series of higher highs and higher lows. Then um, last month ended as a bullish candle with upper and lower weeks. Then this is the month of September, which we can see it's not, it started, um, last week. We've only had one trading week in the month of September and it is currently a doji. Now let's consider the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we can see the market started buying from here, started making, um, an uptrend from here. You can see series of higher highs and higher lows here. Then, Last week, it, or two weeks ago, it ended as a bearish arami, which was part of the reasons why we said we expect it to sell, only for it to buy a bit and sold on the last day of the week. That's why we have a gravestone doji here. Now let's consider the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see after the market bought this much, made the first sign to sell, only for it to buy again, then we see the bearish rejection so the last kind of second on the daily time frame is more like a shooting star we said that before now let's consider the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame we can see after this huge bullish move we see the bears coming only for the bulls to come in again and push it up so we can see that it did not come um to the previous high only for the bears to reject it and we see quite a healthy bearish candle here. Then the last candlestick is a small bullish candle. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? Firstly, on the four hours time frame, we can see that um we can see that the bears have coming right now. This was a retracement, no doubt. We can call this a retracement, and we can see the bears rejected it pretty hard. This this is quite huge. So we can say that the entire move from I think it was um Wednesday through part of Friday was all rejected in one one candle. You can see it. It was all rejected in one candle, meaning that the bears came in pretty hard. Then look at the uh, daily time frame. It's more like a shooting star, which is a bearish reversal candlestick pattern. So, um, the four hours time frame shows that the bears have come back into the market and they've come in very strong. The daily time frame shows the same thing that the bears are currently in the market and the weekly time frame shows, um, ended as a gravestone doji, which shows strong bearish rejection, even though it shows indecision that first um, the first thing it shows, it shows us indecision. Then the second thing is it shows strong bearish rejection. 
So for that reason, we believe that the market will sell this week. And our tip still remains the same region which we marked last week. Yes, 1.29. 1.295 that's where we marked last week because you can see the market did not did not even go below um our end uh, yeah the way the previous week ended okay just so the bit here and started buying again so we expect the market to sell this week just like we expected last week so um this having seen this retracement and the bearish rejection we believe that it's a perfect time to take the sell so we expect the market to sell down to this region that we marked. And that will be the market making a higher low. Then around this region, we will look forward to the bullish reversal candlestick pattern, which will now make the new higher high. Remember, the market is making a series of higher highs and higher lows. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Like we always say, trading is a highly risky endeavor. You don't venture into trading without proper knowledge. If you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading, you don't want to take this trade. You can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to save you better than risking your hard earned money, something you fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it covers beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Years. I strongly recommend this course for anybody who is just starting out in the forex space or someone who is yet to find his way around the financial market. So if you want to get this course, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a forex course. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service will give proper entry, stop loss and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location, we'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.